Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office is facing a federal wrongful death lawsuit. Civil rights attorney John Burris says deputies shot and killed a mentally impaired homeless man last September. A roof collapse on a three-story building in the Miami area today has forced people out of their apartments. The good news, no one was hurt. Sacramento's new Metro Air Parkway interchange is now open. It extends the road to and over I-5 near Sac International airport. Be able to unlock the area for development is so critical. President Biden hosting German Chancellor Angela Merkel at the White House. She's the first European leader to visit the Biden White House. Today, the IRS sent out the first monthly payment of the expanded child tax credit. Parents will now get $3,600 for each child under six years old and $3,000 for kids ages six to 17. Arizona hit with flash flooding and a wildfire burn scar. This was the scene in Flagstaff yesterday afternoon as monsoon storms moved into the area. A judge ordered the release of former 49ers star Richard Sherman in court today. He faces burglary, domestic violence, resisting arrest, and malicious mischief. Charges for allegedly driving drunk, crashing, and trying to force his way into his wife's home. I need officers to my house now. My husband is drunk. Richard, please stop. The U.S. Coast Guard is searching for a missing fisherman after his boat caught fire and sunk off the coast of Carlsbad. More than 600 square miles have been searched. The housing community St. John's program for real change is now open in Sacramento. It will help up to 55 formerly homeless women and children. I wasn't sure if I could love myself. And, um... Uh, St. John's did that for me. The Tokyo Olympics begin in just 10 days as COVID sweeps the country. A massive testing and quarantine process is now in place, along with strict rules for the stands. No high fives, no handshakes, no cheering, no yelling. Those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.